I'm going to show you how we can reference and modify matrix elements. Then I'm going to show you how we can apply basic operations to matrices. Uh, but first, I need to show you how we can use the colon operator. It's an important concept in MATLAB. I can type in 2 colon 6. And this is a simple way uh, in MATLAB to generate a vector of values that start and end at a particular uh, value. So here, uh, I created a vector that starts at 2, it ends at 6, and the increments uh, are by 1. I can also use this notation, 2 colon, 2 colon 6, and now I create a vector but with increments of 2. So if, if I use this uh, syntax uh, with the colon operator, uh, the middle value indicates the increment or step value. Okay, so now uh, how can we access particular values or, or subsets of values from vectors and matrices. So let's type in a matrix Z. Let's say Z is 2, 2, 7, 8 in the first row, and 6, 1, 5, 3 in the second row. Okay, there's our matrix Z. Now, suppose I need to access the element in the second row, first column. I can simply type in Z, parenthesis open, 2 comma 1, and note to use of parentheses, uh, not the square brackets, and now MATLAB returns the uh, element in that position. So that's the 6, right? So the 6 here is the, the second row, first uh, column. Similarly, I can get uh, Z, 1 comma 3, so that's the uh, element in the third column, uh, first row, and that's 7, so that's this one over here. Now we can also reference multiple uh, matrix entries. So I can say things like 1, 2, 3. So note here the use of the colon operator. And this returns, this returns two values. So I'm telling MATLAB to retrieve from the first row the values uh, between the uh, on the second to third columns. So uh, over here, so the first row, the second to third uh, column, so that's values 2 and 7, and that's exactly what MATLAB returns here. Now, this 2 column 3, that's an index vector, so this is a vector that indexes into this matrix. I can get the same result by typing in this. Uh, so now I typed in this vector 2, 3, it's a row vector, into this uh, in this notation and I get the exact same result. There's another way in which we can use the colon operator. I can retrieve uh, a whole row or a whole column uh, simply by using the colon operator without any values to the left or right. So this is the way to get everything from uh, the second column. So second, see here, so we have two, one, that's the second column. And this colon operator simply says, uh, give me everything over here. Similarly, I can get everything from the first row by placing the colon operator here. So far, I've showed you the standard way to index a matrix uh, by using two indices, the row index as well as the column index. There's another way to index matrices uh, by using linear indexing and this is sl slightly confusing. I can say Z uh, and then colon and this uh, reads out the matrix in a different way. It unwinds the matrix uh, column by column. Uh, so if I bring up uh, the matrix Z again and just now we can see this colon operator here reads out column by column, so 2, 6, followed by 2, 1, followed by 7, 5, that's the third column, followed by 8, 3, that's the fourth column. Now this is not a standard way of indexing a matrix, uh, so you should be very careful. Whenever you deal with matrices, it's, it's better, at least for now, to use two arguments 
to refer to the rows and columns. And, and don't use this, this linear indexing scheme just yet. Now, how can we modify matrices? How can we change elements in, an, in a matrix? This is the uh, matrix Z that we have at the moment. But suppose we want to change an element in this matrix to another value. So I can change the first, the first row, first column value, which is currently 2, to a different value. So let's say I give it 10. And note that I've now changed uh, only this particular value. I can also uh, use the colon operator to change sets of values. So let's say that I want to change the third and fourth column values on the first row. Let's change it to 6. So I have now changed the 7 and 8 to the 6 and the 6 values. I can also uh, use a notation like this. I can try to change these last two values to 4 and 5. See, now these 6s are replaced by 4 and 5. I can also uh, modify matrices by deleting rows and columns. So I can delete the fourth column like this. And now I have two square brackets that are, uh, have no values between them. So note now that the last column, the fourth column, is deleted. So this is how we can delete a particular column. You can also delete a particular uh, row. So let's say that we delete the first row. And now we are left with 615. That's the second row from the previous result. Now finally, we can also apply operations uh, to matrices. Let's retrieve our old uh, definition of Z. I'm using the cursor up to go back to a previous command. OK, so let's uh, use that, uh, do these values for matrix Z. Now MATLAB is beautiful because I can add the value 2 to all elements of Z simply by entering Z plus 2. I can also uh, multiply all values by 2. Then there's the transpose character, this, this character. I can use to reverse or swap the rows and columns. All right, so now what was first, the first row is now the first uh, column. That's another standard uh, operation on matrices. And I can uh, also do matrix multiplication. That's, that's a standard concept in linear algebra. So suppose I have a new matrix, A, a 3 by 2 matrix. So let's type in some values here. 3, 1, 4, 2, and 1, 4. So I have a 3 by 2 matrix. And Z is a 2 by 4 matrix. I can multiply matrix-wise these A and Z, and I get the following result, which is a 3 by 4 matrix. You can read uh, in a book about uh, the concept of matrix multiplication. Now, another important um, concept is the element by element operation in MATLAB. So suppose I have two matrices. I have uh, A is 4, 2, 1, 3, let's say. I have another matrix B is 1, 2, 3, 4. So these are two 2 by 2 matrices. I can now element by element add the values of these matrices. So I can say A plus B. Note that the value in the first row, first column, is simply the sum of the values in the corresponding positions. You can do the same with multiplication, but now you have to be very careful. You cannot say A times B because that's matrix multiplication. That's, that has a very different meaning in MATLAB. If I want the element-wise products, I use the 
dot uh, symbol. So eight a uh, dot times b. Now I get the individual elements that are multiplied. So uh, the first element four times the first element one here equals four. Similarly, I can do element wise division uh, as follows. Um, and I can also raise a matrix to some exponent. So suppose I want to square all the values in A. I have to do this element wise. So again, use this dot symbol to indicate that you're that you intend uh, to do these operations on the element by element basis. So this is the these are the values squared. And this is very different from this notation where you don't use the dot symbol. So this is the same in MATLAB as A times A using the uh, matrix uh, product. So it's essential to, to use the dot symbol uh, to indicate that you are, that you want to apply the element by element uh, transformation.